how to create a GIF for your videos. I'm Lucy Griffiths and I'm going to show you how to create a GIF so that you can turn your videos into little moving images that you have either on your website, not such good quality, or on your emails so your emails really stand out in someone's inbox. If you like this video, I would love you to subscribe. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. Creating a GIF is really straightforward. The first thing you need to do is have a piece of video. So choose what piece of video you want to use and then it's a case of shortening it and making it into a sequence of images. And there is software to do just that. Hello, so if you have seen in an email like this, I'm on my um, active campaign system and you've seen an email and then you've seen the video in the email and you think, how do they do that? I'm going to show you how to do this. So here is um, a GIF that I've created. So what do I do? So I'm going to go over here and I go to my YouTube channel and I take a link. So it can be any video. I'm using my YouTube channel and I copy the URL of this video. Then I go back to, so it's giphy.com and you have to register. It's, um, there's free versions of it, but you do have to kind of log in and create a, an account. Otherwise you get Giphy plastered all over it. So you can either upload a video directly to here, but the, the size of the video is very small. So I find with my YouTube videos, they're too big to upload here. Or you click on create. So it's much easier to connect to a YouTube video and use that. So you literally, paste in the URL from your YouTube video, or it could be a Vimeo, a video that's on Vimeo. And then you wait for the magic of it to show up. And here I am. So you can choose how long you want it to be for. So I'm actually going to go a little bit longer because I want the bottom text to show up. I might even go a tiny bit longer. And so you could have something like that. There we go, we've got it. So continue to decorate. Then at this stage, if I didn't have text along the bottom, I would be looking at adding some text and you can also add in um, some animations and put stickers on there. So the stickers are kind of things like, um, you know, hearts or people jumping around or whatever, you know, stars, if you want to include something like that. Doesn't really go with me, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, you could even have filters. So you could, let's try some of them. So if they, you know, some of them work like the glitch one, I don't mind. Um, let's have spooky. And so you can really have some fun with this. So I'm going to say none at this point. You could also add a caption. So sin, I've missed out the end. I knew I'd missed out a word. Okay. So you could change the color if you wanted to, you could change the text. Um, so, you know, you can do what suits you. Um, 
I'm going to just get rid of the words so I won't have anything. Um, you could also have um, some animation in there. So if I had it again, I'll just keep the word in and you could have some sparkle, rainbow. I quite like the typing. We'll just do that one. So I've always, you know, if I if I do do this, I tend to do the typing one. I sort of quite like that. But you just have to work out what works for you. And so once you've done that, you literally then go to the end, continue to upload. So mine is pretty straightforward. And you could add some tags. So you could, you know, if you wanted it to be in the system, you could add some tags in there too. And you say upload to Giphy. And it's as simple as that. And then you go to media and you want to download the social version so it's not too big and then you can use it for social media so i found that it doesn't work quite so well for facebook if you you know had a link to it i think people want to watch the proper video but it works really well in email newsletters so when you have tested and you've worked out what works for you then you know it i find i get much higher open rates of my emails because i've included it and don't forget when you're on the your email system, so I'll go back here now, you wanna make sure this is a clickable link. So it links directly to, if you're sending people, telling people about a video and you're sending them directly to the video, you wanna make sure this link is clickable so they can click on it and go to the video. Because they're gonna to want to press play and expect to play it here and so they need to go to the video. I hope you found this video useful. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. Please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get all the updates when I next post a video every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.